first thing we'll make is a watercolor background with a vignette. Vignette is a French term referring to a blurred or darkened edge. Once you know what to look for, you'll see vignette frames are everywhere. They're a common practice in art to draw your eye towards the center of the image. So for this part of the project, we'll need watercolor paints, watercolor paper, paper towels, some fresh water, and a brush. I'm going to make two different backgrounds so I can choose the one that looks best with my final project. If you have time and materials, you might make two, three, or more backgrounds. I want the colors in my project to not look like they came directly from the tray. I want custom colors like professional artists create. For the first background, I'm going to make a set of warm colors, mixing some red, yellow, and orange and browns. The browns will be the darkest, so I'll save them for the vignette. Pause the video now to prepare the set of paints that you'd like to paint with. Since I don't want to see the brush strokes, I'm going to use really wet paper. That will blur my brush marks so that all we get is a wash of color. You'll notice I'm starting with the lightest colors here in the middle, my light yellow brown color that I mixed, and then progressing towards the darker colors near the edge, going now to an orange. Hopefully it's obvious that this part of the video has been greatly speeded up. You should work much slower. I certainly do. I'm trying to make sure that the colors blend from one to the other. I don't really want to see brush strokes or a line when I've changed from one color to the next. And finally a brown to get the darkest edge. Notice how I'm using paper towel every once in a while to either create a texture or to lift off water. As I said, I'll be preparing two backgrounds, one with warm colors and one with cool colors. This one with the blues uh, might provide a different feeling or a different symbolism to my portrait, and I like to have options to choose from when we reach that stage in the project. Notice how I'm not using the colors directly out of the tray, but mixing them on a plate instead. You might notice a blue and green being mixed, or even orange and blue being mixed to create sort of a brownish blue. And here are my two final uh, background colors. Mm -hmm. 